Shirley. Shirley. This place looks different. Shirley! Shirley, what's wrong? <sighs> you don't look so good. Did you have a nightmare? That was... A dream, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to talk about it? It might feel better to get it off your chest. It's just some old memories. About Asperia in Zeke. But the people who should have been there. The people I knew. They were all gone. I also saw some... Horrifying things. I don't know what it could possibly mean. <sighs> Perhaps you're just too tired recently? Why don't we go out and take our minds off things? Maybe that'll help. It's okay. I'm feeling much better now. Thank you for helping me deal with this. And sorry for making you worry. Shirley. I'm fine now. It's not like me to be bothered by a nightmare, is it? So, what's up? There's been some field energy updates. Master Yu is inviting us to discuss this together at the Tianjiang Pavilion in Joltville. Conroe will take us there. He's waiting for us at the Ignisville Mansion. Let's head out then. We don't want to keep him waiting. It's a pleasure to see both of you again. Sorry for the wait, Conrail. Thank you for showing us the way. You're too kind, Executor. I'm just following Master Yu's request. Joining you two for the meeting at Tianjong Pavilion. Tianjong Pavilion? Does this place have something to do with timestamps? Yes. The Tianjong Pavilion is where timestamps and similar technological products are made. Timestamps? Sundial squares? These are all works of the Tianjong Pavilion, 
which is governed by Madame Huang. Thanks to Tianzhong Pavilion, the timestamp system is able to operate smoothly, allowing us to use the power of timestamps to fight back the darkness. However, to activate the timestamps, the infinite sundial must harness field energy from lifeblood and project that energy throughout Domain 9. If the lifeblood were to be exhausted, the consequences would be catastrophic. Feng Shui Tower was established to handle the power crisis of the Infinite Sundial, and I'm in charge of overseeing it. Our mission is to address the lifeblood depletion and to find potential alternative energy sources. The reason I made the trip to Vera through the Celestial Gate was to seek out a way to keep the Infinite Sundial up and running. Luckily, the trip was quite fruitful. Fruitful? Marzoid Ore, the main energy source in Inners, could possibly serve as an alternative for lifeblood. Upon receiving permission from the authorities in Vera, I gathered some Marzoid Ore samples and brought them back to Domain 9 for further study. Now that Master Yu is assembling us and Madame Huang to meet at Tianjiang Pavilion, our research must have yielded some promising results. It must be good news, right? I certainly hope so. Let's get going.
now approaching Joltville. It's home to the largest lifeblood in Domain 9, and also the junction for all lifeblood across the Domain. serving as Domain 9's administrative center and the research and production hub for timestamp technology. It is essentially the heart of Domain 9. Dun Gong focuses on exploring and assimilating information from the Black Jade Ruins, laying the groundwork for the timestamp technology in Domain 9. These technologies are passed on to Tianzhong Pavilion to be materialized. This, essentially, is how our timestamps came to be. Oh, I understand now. Lord Conroe, with the darkness lurking, please take extra caution on your trip to Joltville. Longjin Pavilion has detected a significant surge in the darkness's activity. A disaster could occur at any moment. Thank you for the heads up. We'll be careful. Tianjong Pavilion facilitates the distribution of timestamp technology through the Tianha Bazaar, creating a timestamp network throughout Domain 9. The major field energy reactor, the Infinite Sundial, is built at the junction of lifeblood. It extracts field energy from all over the Domain to power the entire timestamp system Acting as the backbone of the timestamp system, the Infinite Sundial extracts field energy from all over the domain to power the entire timestamp system. Junggong, Tianjong Pavilion, and the Infinite Sundial are the most important facilities in Joltea. This is just a glimpse of their functions. We'll be seeing the full scope of Tianjong Pavilion shortly. Yeah, that's <laughs> Less darkness activity in this area. Any idea why? 
Lord Conroe, we've just identified the source of the darkness activity. The abnormal space-time fluctuations of the Serene Valley Outpost have turned into an abyss current, enabling the darkness to continuously flood into Domain 9. We're evacuating the residents in the danger zones as per Madame Huang's instructions. She's also headed there herself to deal with the darkness. But there's still residual darkness along the way. Please stay vigilant. Will do. Conroe, and our honored guests from the outside world. Welcome. I am Fu Li, Madame Huang's steward. Madame Huang has sent me here to handle the darkness, while she deals with the Abyss Current herself. Um, so we'll wait for her to finish? Hmm. It's been a while now. I wonder if she's had enough of combat. Please, follow me. Ching Long. Keep up! I don't have time to stand around waiting for you. Uh. Let's go then. Oh, Fuli, make sure you keep a close eye on Dragonpool. The darkness might be up to something there again. Understood. I'll make arrangements immediately.
Due to the unexpected abyss current, I've rearranged your schedule for the day. Tianzhong Pavilion's tech department hopes to brief you on the latest progress in minimizing timestamp wear and tear. Please review the relevant documents. Let's find the next one. Additionally, Ms. Yoon is expecting you at the meeting to discuss issues related to the Astral Monument and the statue's maintenance. One more thing. Okay, okay, enough already! Now that we've arrived at Tian Zhang's pavilion, we'll be on our way. Madam Huang still has a lot of official business to attend to. Thank you for your understanding. Okay, thanks for all your help.
Hey there, you two. How have you been? Hmm? Did the doctor not come with you? I hope there's no trouble, is there? The doctor has uncovered something new at the Black Jade Ruins in Marshville, and is tied up there at the moment, so she's unable to attend the meeting. Don't worry, I'll re- For instance, the first topic. The Executor expressed concern about the doctor's absence and- <laughs> That will not be nec- We're all here, Master Yu. Well, let's get straight to the point, then. I believe you're already aware of the topic of this meeting. It appears that we may have discovered a potential solution to the increasingly dire energy shortage. I'm Neo, a researcher at Tianjiang Pavilion. Allow me to present to you our latest discoveries. The timestamp system relies on the power generated from the infinite sundial. But with the lifeblood nearly depleted, we're looking at the infinite sundial potentially losing its functionality. The loss of the functionality of the infinite sundial equates to a decline in timestamp efficiency. The consequences of this would be sev- We've been continuously researching for ways to replenish Domain 9's field energy. Recent- Please look. We have conducted a detailed analysis and comparison between our- We finally discovered that the energy extracted from Marzoid- Using this type of energy, the timestamp is fully capable of functioning. Could it be that Marzoid ore in- It's too early to say for certain, but one thing we do know is that Marzoid ore can provide energy in a manner similar to lifeblood. In conclusion, Vera's Marzoid ore might serve as a viable substitute for lifeblood. We have already shared these findings with the authorities in Vera. We believe that we've also submitted a request to Archon Larson, hoping that Vera can provide us with an- a Assuming Vera can provide a sufficient amount of Marzoid ore- <sighs> This is very important. We need to return- I trust that your insights and first-hand experiences could be of great assist-
something good for once. Find the next one.
Archon Larson, Ms. Lyra, we have the latest updates on Domain 9 and the Gray Space entities. Thank you for your hard work. Master Yu has already briefed me about the situation in Domain 9, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. Based on our recent observations, we've noticed that abyss currents occur quite often in Domain 9, and the disasters caused by Gray Space entities are extremely severe. We've also seen quite a few Gray Space entities similar to the ones here in Vera. Could those be the ones that have migrated from Vera to Domain 9? They likely responded to the Hive Mother's call and traveled to Domain 9 via the Abyss Currents. Personally, I think there's a strong possibility that the Hive Mother is in Domain 9, but we don't have the ability to pinpoint her exact location right now. Hmm. How's the doctor doing? Dr. Rubilia noticed a peculiar Blackstone ruin and initiated research into it, along with Lord Ling Han, who was in charge of Marshville. I believe she will bring us more insights on the Gray Space Entity soon. Shirley and I also made some discoveries regarding the Blackstone Ruins. There is a powerful Gray Space Entity being held captive within Ignisville's Blackstone Ruin. With the seal on the ruin gradually weakening, the Gray Space Entity tried to escape its confinement. The situation has been resolved, but at a cost. There's barely any lifeblood left to sustain the operation of the timestamp system in Domain 9. If the lifeblood is depleted, the Gray Space entities imprisoned within will immediately break free and wreak havoc. And without the support of timestamps, battling these Gray Space entities would become even more challenging. Indeed. We've heard about this from Master Yu. Inspired by Domain 9, Lyra has conducted in-depth research on Marzoid Ore. That is right, Archon Larson. After restarting the investigation of the Confounding Abyss and combining it with the findings from Domain 9, we've made significant breakthroughs in our research on Marzoid Ore. We have narrowed down why Marzoid Ore can serve as a substitute for lifeblood. The energy contained within Marzoid Ore is essentially Omnium. Just as the Executor said, there are Blackstone Ruins that exist in Domain 9, which bear a striking resemblance to the ones in the Confounding Abyss. 
It's not surprising that Domain 9 also has minerals similar in nature to Marsord Ore. Unfortunately, after thoroughly analyzing the data provided by Master Yu, we found that the known reserves of Marsord Ore in Vera are far from sufficient to fill the gap. <sighs> so what do we do? There must be other solutions, right? We are not completely out of options. Marsoid ore and lifeblood are merely different forms of energy. The energy that provides the timestamps is Omnium. In other words, all we need to do is to provide enough Omnium. Should Domain 9 be able to construct its own towers of fantasy and start extracting Omnium from Mara, energy depletion wouldn't be a problem anymore. T tower of fantasy of course, this also comes with risks. Master Yu is already aware of the harms and impacts caused by the Cataclysm, the Omnium Plague, and the out-of-control Omnium Reactor within the Tower of Fantasy. Anyway, Domain 9 is considering the solution. If the conditions are met, it would undoubtedly be the best choice. However, this is based on the assumption that Domain 9 falls within Mars' energy radiation range. If not, it's all just talk. How can we know for sure? District 7's application of Omnium technology isn't that advanced. We'll need the assistance of District 9. I'll get in touch with Archon Elric and Master Yu later to discuss the matter and finalize a solution. You've done a great job exploring Domain 9. We'll be counting on your continued support for our future collaboration with them. We're glad to be of help. Now then, Miss Shirley and the Executor should return to Asperia to wait for Archon Elric's instructions. In terms of other partnerships with Domain 9, there are some details I need to confirm. Tian Long, come with me. me. So, you finally thought of me? I haven't seen you back in Meroria in a while. Are you having a bit too much fun in Domain 9? No, I'm not- Huh? What was that? You le Well then, make sure to show me around next time I go to Domain 9 for work. <sighs> Since I'm the top Hycros mechanic, I was even in- Well then, make sure to show me around next time I go to Domain 9 for work. I don't know when I'll get the chance to go to Domain 9 again. You'll need to touch bases with Miss Lyra and Mir Roria. Oh, I suppose that... Executor Miss Shirley. Allow me to introduce you. This is Brevi, a Tower Fantasy Engineer. Hello there. 
I'm usually cooped up at home, but even I have heard about you two. At least, I think I have? We have already reached an agreement with Domain 9. Once we confirm that Domain 9 can harness Omnium radiation from Mara, Brevi is set to accompany you to Domain 9 for the initial inspection. If the optimal solution for Domain 9 to obtain Omni, even though the construction of the tower... Oh, well then... different here. How do you feel? Um, are you uncomfortable at all? Um... Uh, perhaps traversing through space-time barriers all in one go is a bit too much for a first-timer. This is a rare hands-on experience.
I'm on a roll. Ready for any mission. Ugh. <sighs> 